nothing feels better like totally messing up the order of things you tell people to do but doesn't matter uh, for this little DIY intranet project you will need two things you will need the uh, web server for Windows you can download it here it's for free okay no licenses none of that nonsense going on so once you download it you need to install it and I already downloaded it so I'm just going to here we go install it and there it will be one let me just go with the flow yeah so it's just for people to show how to install stuff if, not, if they're not familiar with windows so they're just used to things being installed for them yada 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 so it's super easy you just follow the steps whenever it decides to yeah here we go uh, show up on the screen uh, okay fine whatever yeah i'm gonna ignore that altogether uh, i don't need to Pearl, the rest is fine. You could literally just go next, 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 next. Oh, I should have unticked that, but it doesn't matter. Totally irrelevant. Uh, this, this is just going to open a web page so I can learn about XAMPP. Uh, yeah, okay, now it's installing. So that should complete, and you would have the web server on your machine. The other thing that you need is the um uh, what you call it odbc excel for windows 64 bit yeah that's the one so let's just go here i'll provide the link for this one in the description here we go that's what i found last time and that worked yes perfect this is the page uh yeah close this annoyance uh you have to download this as well which i already did obviously and install it uh, this will give you the ability to uh, interact with excel files and access files we might go into that later on um, so that will make the little intranet thing much more useful i'm not sure if i will be showcasing the installation process because it is slow but I think you get the general idea, and I'm sure you, most people can do it. Come on. Um, this is not too difficult, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so once you install this, you also will have to install the other one that I have downloaded. And uh, okay, let me just try and fast forward this uh, so you don't get too bored. And it looks like we are at the end. So it's just creating the uninstaller. And perfect. And all you do now is like, yeah, yeah, start the control panel. Why not? It should start the main Apache control thing though. He says. Okay, it's, it's okay. Yeah, it's finishing. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Perfect. So if you press the start button, it's gonna start it. Yep, perfecto. And that's really it. Your file, so 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 you know, and uh, this PC, your files are stored in the default location. If I can double click, C uh, XAMP HD dots this is what you'll be dropping delete all of these just literally i'll do it now delete them you will not need them and you'll be dropping the internet files here and then uh, putting in the local host in the uh, browse bar browse bar url bar whatever it's called okay so that is done the second thing you need to install is the access database engine which we'll do now as well yeah, click on the yes, it's gonna do some magic. Uh, okay, yeah, we're installed. I think I had it installed or something. Uh, 
doesn't matter just just go with the flow it'll probably just tell you that it just needs installing it doesn't matter what it is really just next 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 and it should just just do it these are not like super complicated things and yeah and you should get like uh, microsoft ads database engine is set to has been completed successfully and that's it you're done you're ready to rock and roll uh again this is your web server so allows you to access your little intranet thingy from anywhere on the network and host your files and this access database engine uh, has few uh, odbc connectors drivers whatever you call them properly uh, that allow you to access excel files and access files which will be super useful in the near future when i'll expand my little demo and uh Hopefully this helps. I should have done this first rather than uh, later, but doesn't matter. Thanks for watching.